RAF Elvington was originally a grass airfield built in 1939, but was rebuilt in 1942 with three hardened runways as a substation of RAF Pocklington. RAF Pocklington, Melbourne and Elvington were grouped together at this time. It was part of four group bomber command and the trio of airfields became known as 42 Base. The aircraft used at this time were Handley Page Halifax four-engined bombers operated by 77 Squadron RAF. Whilst at Elvington, 77 Squadron lost two aircraft, it lost 82 aircraft and 450 aircrew, over half their fatalities during the war. In early 1944, 77 Squadron moved to RAF Full Sutton and Elvington became host to two French air squadrons, number 346 and number 347. 346 Squadron flew in an attack on a radio station at Ferme d'Urville near Cherbourg on the night of the 1st and 2nd of June 1944, completely destroying the radio station. This attack was in support of D-Day, which of course happened four days or so later. On the 3rd of March 1945, RAF Elvington was attacked by Yonkers 88s. The runway lights were switched off and all the French aircraft, which were returning from a raid, were ordered to divert to other airfields. During the attack, a Yonkers piloted by Hopman John Dreer, I think I've said that right, of 13 night fighter destroyer group clipped a tree and crashed into Dunnington Lodge farmhouse, killing all five crew, the farmer, his wife and his mother. This is believed to be the last Luftwaffe aircraft to crash on British soil. Both French squadrons flew on four groups last mission of the war an attack on the gun batteries at Wager Rouge on the 25th of April 1945. Just after the German surrender, a message was sent from Bomber Command HQ thanking the French squadrons for their work. In October 1945, the French squadrons left for Bordeaux and Elvington became part of 40 Group Maintenance Command until 1952, when the runway was lengthened to 1.2 at 1.92 miles, for the U.S. Strategic Air Command, who would plan to use B-36 bombers to deliver nuclear bombs. However, with the advent of the Polaris nuclear missiles, this didn't happen. During the 1960s, the Blackburn Aircraft Company of Bruff, which is now part of BAE, used the runways at Elvington for test flying the prototype Buccaneer aircraft. Later on, the RAF flying training schools at Church Fenton and Linton on Ouse used the runway for practicing circuits and landings. RAF Elvington closed in March 1992 and in January 1999 was sold by the MOD and the old runways are now used for driver training and for also testing cars as well. And the old RAF huts and hangars are now used as the Yorkshire Air Museum. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this short video on RAF Elvington. Thank you for watching and I will see you in a future video.